What's up viewers, Paul here with Innovative Marine and in this video I'm going to show you our new Wavelink all-in-one wave maker. We'll go through the different features and what they mean, how to wirelessly link multiple Wavelinks together, and a few other features you might not know, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open the box and assemble the pieces together. Inside you should have a controller, the wave maker and magnet, power supply, double-sided tape, a quick guide, and a warranty card. First, put the Wavelink in your aquarium. Now take the Wavemaker cord and attach it into the controller. Plug in your power supply and connect it to the controller. The Wavelink will turn on, so be careful to keep your Wavemaker initially away from the sand or delicate corals until you figure out what flow is best for your aquarium. The Wavelink has nine preset modes six wave patterns, a feed mode, night mode, and a self-cleaning mode. Each mode is described in the manual and can be downloaded in the description below. Each of the wave patterns can be activated when you press the mode button. The corresponding light will illuminate, letting you know it is in that mode. Each wave pattern speed can be adjusted by hitting the speed button, and the frequency dial gives you the option to regulate the time distance between each pulse. Pairing the Wavelink is super easy. If you have two or more Wavelinks, you can pair the Wavemakers together by activating the Master Slave Mode. Press the Link button on your controller that you wish to be master. Once the M light has been illuminated, that controller is now the master setting. On the secondary controller, you press the Link button twice and now the secondary controller is now the slave. You can now control both Wavemakers by using the master controller. Additionally, you can set each individual Wavemaker speed on their controllers. When activated by pressing and holding down the button, Night Mode gives you the option to reduce flow when your lights turn off for the night. This flow will simulate a gentle laminar stream that will continuously flow throughout the night until the light sensor on the controller senses light. Your Wavelink will now resume to its previous mode and speed. When you press and hold the fish button, you'll activate feed mode. Feed mode turns your pumps off for 10 minutes and will enable once again after that time. You can also override this timer by pressing the fish button once again. Press and hold lock button to activate lock mode. The red light will illuminate and will disable the frequency dial for added protection. I hope this video explained everything you need to know about the Wavelink and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and thanks for watching.